What a year 2020 has been. We've been through a lot and it's been relentless, but it's finally over and 2021 has just started. We start the year in March with Kobe Bryant passing away. One of the most beloved athletes of all time and my favorite NBA player of all time. Now, right after that, we had the big one, the coronavirus. You know, it turned a lot of people into zombies. I know it's not the apocalypse like a lot of people thought, and it may not have turned people into the walking dead zombies, but it did turn people into the stay at home, mask wearing, anxiety driven zombies. So yeah, it was definitely a tough year and a lot of industries are adopting new ways of doing things and throwing out the old ways and a lot of industries have suffered, some have benefited, but we're here to talk about one industry in particular, gaming, 2020 in gaming. But even more specific than that, we are here to talk about gaming sales and how the coronavirus actually affected gaming sales and how 2020 in general has affected gaming sales and the upward trend we will see on gaming from here on out so if you guys haven't already subscribe to the channel you guys at 100 subscribers i'm giving away a 50 dollars gift card to playstation network so all you guys gotta do is subscribe to get that and I will be choosing one subscriber at random to give that to. Now looking at the article here, video game industry is now estimated to be worth $159.3 billion in 2020, which is an increase of 9.3% in 2019. And now they're predicting by 2023, the gaming industry is going to be worth $200 billion which is crazy. That's a 9.3% upgrade from last year. And from 2016, it's grown $90 billion. So with coronavirus, I don't think it's made any difference to the gaming industry. I think even though a lot of people think that it's contributed to more gaming sales, it's actually had the same steady growth that it's had for years now. And it's just gonna keep growing the same way. So has coronavirus affected gaming sales? I gotta say it's gonna be a strong no. And going into the future of gaming sales, it looks like the game industry is gonna be going strong and nobody has to worry about this industry for a really long time. Every developer and publisher has made more money. The big three, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo have all made more money than they have in 2019. So things are looking up for gaming, at least in 2021, 2022, 2023, and who knows what the future holds, but we know that this console generation is going to be around for a while. But I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.